Alrighty then, more Warzone solos today, and we've got something important we need to do. We're going to be using the brand new Jack Signal Burst Aftermarket Barrel for the Holger 556. This got released yesterday as part of the weekly challenges. If you guys don't know, there's like a weekly challenge for every part of Season 1. And so far, I think they've handed out a couple of optics and I think like a laser and stuff like that. But this is a full like barrel conversion for the Holger 556. And we're going to use it today in this solos round. And I've picked up this most wanted to begin with so that we can try and get a loadout as quick as possible. But uh, also, just so you guys know, obviously not live commentating this. Uh, I played this morning at like nine o'clock in the morning. So I wanted to try and get the gameplay nice and early so I can put out a video for you guys. So you just so you can see what this aftermarket part does for the Holger 556. As I say right now, it's not a like a competitive or even meta weapon in Warzone, but they're putting out these attachments every week and um, it might become popular at some point in Warzone. You never know. So like I say, let's get forward to um, when we get the loadout. Okay, so this is me getting the loadout here. And as you'll notice on the screen, there is a, a bounty contract that's on my head right now. And the guy is, like, right next to me. So we do manage to scrape the loadout in time, which is good. Just making sure there's no one about. You can hear the footsteps. Not sure what that there might was. The stun is what gets me the down there. The stun is what gets me the down. Because he wasn't able to strafe back into cover quick enough because he got stunned. So as you can see, it's not the fastest burst in the world. I do have that manual fire behavior turned on. So that you just hold down the fire button and it will just continue to burst. I think you can burst it faster by turning off manual fire behavior in, in the settings. But I thought we'd, uh, we'd give it a go here. Uh, and this guy who's just come back for his loadout actually. He's the guy I just killed. Uh, we got a snipe on him under the water. There's the footsteps. Always looking for cover, me. Always looking for cover. Even though I could hear the footsteps, I could I could hear he was going right. But I'm like, I'm not going to even attempt to make a push. Like, I don't really know how this performs. I mean, obviously, we've worked out already that the burst is pretty slow. But I'm also a mouse and keyboard player. So if I start pushing people at close range, I've got to be absolutely certain that I'm going to get the kill. And I didn't know if I was going to get the kill. So even though I had footsteps clear as day... Uh, I'm still not making that push. I mean, initial impressions at this point, the burst is quite slow. I thought it would be a bit faster than this. And because the Holger 556 only has a 40 round mag, I'd probably say this is like a, a niche solos weapon right now. It's like a niche solos weapon. It's not going to be something you're going to use in trios or quads. You just you haven't got enough bullets. Um, if you turn off manual fire behavior, you can get through your bullets quicker because you can burst more. But there will be more recoil because, of course, after each burst, the recoil resets to the center of your screen. I think that's part of the reason for turning on manual fire behavior. You can have that recoil reset. Whereas if you turn it off and you're, you know, hitting your trigger or hitting your fire button as fast as you can, the recoil is going to be kicking up, up and up. So you're going to have to keep control of it. Did you hear footsteps there, by the way? I think you did. I've um, I've turned on loudness equalization in Windows. My God, does it make a difference. It's so much better than the default audio. If you're playing on PC, make sure, first of all, you're using PC speakers because I found that to be the best. And then in your Windows sound settings, go in and turn on loudness equalization for your audio output. And that will normalize uh, like some of the loud sounds and some of the quieter sounds. Shame we didn't get the kill on that guy. And and what it does is it makes sounds that are much further away from you sound a hell of a lot louder. But yeah, so far, <laughs> four kills. It's not bad for a little solos match. One thing I will say about this barrel, it comes with an integrated optic as well. So you have to put the conversion kit on and that takes up an attachment slot. But it gives you a second attachment because it's a barrel and an optic combined. So you can take off the optic of this heavy machine blueprint that I've got for the Holger. And then you can switch out the suppressor and put a 40 round mag on. It's still got the recoil reducing stock on it. And I changed to the recoil reducing um, rear grip. I've got six attachments on here, technically. I've got six because the conversion kit gives me the barrel. I've got the suppressor, 40 round mag, 
some footsteps. Watch me mess this up. <laughs> this guy, poor guy, was like, you know, might have been Babby's first battle royale, but I messed that up royally. Terribly. Decided not to go for the, uh, the burst there. Take him down. Up to five kills now. Even though I killed the, the previous guy and then I killed him, but technically the guy on the ground down here. Who's just gone up the zip. I think he did more damage than me. So even though I got the final hit on this guy up here, I don't get the uh, I don't get the kill. So yeah, you've got the suppressor, the barrel, the grip, the stock, the magazine, and the optics. So this is technically a six attachment gun. So I think it's kind of cool. It actually takes me back a little bit to MW19, where there were certain attachments on some guns that would like give you two attachments in one, and you could get like these six attachment weapons. It was pretty cool. Felt for sure that was going to land. At least we got the armor break. Now, as we've discovered, obviously because the bursts aren't particularly uh, frequent with this Holger, and also the optic is not the most zoomed. In fact, I don't know if it actually is a zoomed optic. Let me just wait until... No, I don't think it's a zoomed optic at all. I think it's just a... I think it's just a straight, like, red dot, basically. Like an enclosed red dot. We've actually got two men here. As soon as I scope out, I see the scope glint. As soon as I scope out... We've actually got three. There's a third guy over on the right. I'm trying to find these guys here. they have all been rather pesky and they've all disappeared. This is an area where I think the Holger could actually be pretty decent. It's in that sort of close to mid-range. Nothing too far out, but this barrel, you could do well with it. There's high alert, saving my life. Even watching that back, that was a pretty decent snipe. And this guy must have had the medic vest. I'm pretty sure he did, because as you can see, he's not here. And he's already rezzed. Look, he's already rezzed a, like, a fair amount. I got pretty lucky there, because I hadn't reloaded the Holger. I think I only had about, you know, less than 20 bullets in the mag, so. There we go. We got one of those three players with, with the Holger, which is good. And he had a fat bag of cash. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, right. Now we've got to move across the map. Um, thing, things must be done. We've got to get ourselves a good rotation in. But, thankfully, I'm really starting to get the hang of using these redeployment drones. They just move, just go from drone to drone to get across the map. So, um, we'll cut forward to when I'm in the zone. So here we are, flying in. You might have just caught a little bit of a battle happening down below, over by that uh, portable buy station. The man with the riot shield won it. Goes for the long-range thermite. Too far with his throw. Now, the reason I wanted to cut to this point is this is, this is a sequence of events where I feel like it proves that this burst barrel is, is probably not the one for Battle Royale. It, it might be okay in Resurgence, but I, I feel like this is more made for multiplayer. Where, you know, you've got a, a much shorter um, time to kill. Those close-range engagements. You know, because you're always closer, so you get that shorter time to kill. Rather than these big open areas or, you know, longer shots across range. There we go. Get rid of that, uh, that cheeky lad. But yeah, this is where I feel like the Holger... It's not advantageous to use at longer ranges. Just had somebody drop on my head. Who I thought would then immediately challenge me. But decided not to. Look, you can see here. Like, it's harder to hit shots with the optic that's built in on this barrel. You don't have to use the built-in optic on the barrel, by the way. You can change it. So you could put a better optic on there if you wanted to. Not sure how that shot didn't hit. Maybe he moved at the last minute. But doesn't matter because we got the headshot afterwards. But yeah, you can see at lo a longer ranges with this build that I've got with the barrel. It's not ideal. Um, like I say, you can switch the optic so you can have a bit more zoom on it. Still got so much money, I I'm just going to continuously buy UAVs. We've got plenty of players around us here. So, you know, opportunity for us to do some work. I thought if I could get a second shot on the guy that maybe I could get the finish with the Holger. And then that thought transfers here. So there you go. I do end up getting the kill with a one burst at the end there. Although the guy down the back of the hill might have landed some shots. And that might have ended up helping me out. But regardless, that's now eight kills on the board. 14 players left, circle five. That's quite a small amount of players for the size of the circle. 
and plenty of people still spread out. I can still hear the footsteps below me. They're like almost constant. But here's the riot shield guy. As always with the thermites. One way to deal with riot shielders. And that riot shield just messes me up trying to do all of that. Just can't land those shots consistently. Get the assist on the guy. We'll take that. Still got the person running around underneath me like a frightened chicken. One more UAV for the road. You can see there's still one below me. And then one at the gas station. He's right there. There we go. Get the finish right there. Did get the kill with the sniper. Did uh, land a few shots with the, with the hole below. So there's one guy below who is now going to look right at me. Yep. And then we've got a guy on our left on the other side of the river as well. So my thoughts here were, well, maybe the guy's going to be smart and push right out of that building and come up this hill, uh, which he didn't do. Um, he actually just followed me straight down into the riverbed. Um, but I needed to get, obviously, height, super power play. There's a guy on the opposite side of the river who's just smoked. So that takes my snipe opportunity away. Sniper wasn't reloaded. Armor break on that guy, which is perfect. Mess this guy up so that they're fighting basically plateless. One assist. And can we get the finish? We don't get the finish. <laughs> we don't get the finish, which is a shame, actually. Which is a shame. But you can see what I mean. At range, this thing is difficult to control. It's quite difficult to control. Those bursts, the bullets just start wavering up further and further because obviously they're, they're traveling further. So the distance between them it is bigger. But, you know, they're not doing too bad. Nine kills. Circle six. Seven players left. I'm not in the greatest position of the, in the world. But um, I've done okay. Considering this gun is not brilliant with this build. But, I mean, if you wanted a challenge in solos, I guess you could, you could try and use it. Left it too late to hit that shot there. You can hear what that loudness EQ does to my sniper. It brings the sound of the sniper down a little bit. Which, uh, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of. But... We're creeping in on the red line here. And this is really where I probably should have been a little bit more cautious. Just a little bit. Because, as you're going to see, first of all, I can't get out this rock. <laughs> you made it to the top five. I can hear the footsteps. I mean, I, 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 if I'd have been a little bit more cautious and maybe just held back when I heard those first set of footsteps as he came towards me. I mean, he did have high alert on, which showed in the kill cam. So, I mean, fair play. But if I'd have maybe just held back, crouched, and waited for him to come over the hill and landed at least the first burst in the gunfight, I might have stood a chance. Here's the build, by the way. I'll, I'll show you the build in the menu. This is what I used in the gameplay. You can give it a go if you want to. That's the new burst jack, what signal burst aftermarket part, whatever it's called, for the Holger. And I'm probably going to do like a video like this every week on the new aftermarket parts that they release. If they don't release an aftermarket part, sometimes I think they're going to do a skin and all those kind of things. But um, all the weekly challenges, they're going to be adding this stuff in for, for, for the foreseeable future. So every time they release a new bit, then uh, I'll make a video on solos with it and try and get a win. And at least you guys can then see what, uh, what the gun's like. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you soon.